to um, pick up the pace. All right, so now we're going to be getting into it. I like that tag, putting in the uh, the cross. I think that means that now this is a religious stream. But anyway. Yeah, so we're going to be getting into this match here. And one thing is that both of these characters have a projectile. Of course, John Numbers, we fit with that sun salutation versus Angel with his arc thunder, where, uh, with just with all of the thunder variants. But one thing we're seeing already is that mini thunder, the very tiny one, which travels very fast. It's something that, you know, Numbers, even if he shoots out a preemptive, oh my god, preemptive, uh, Sun Salutation, it still takes a while to get going. So, so far it's been a very little good check. Okay, but this is something that Numbers does. He murders you. It's one of his MOs. Uh, if there was like, you know, a police file on Numbers, one of the big things, the strings that tie him together is uh, he will murder you if you give him the chance. Especially with Deep Breathing, but Deep Breathing wasn't even necessary right there. And, okay, this is something that is also going to be very relevant in the matchup. The ledge play. Because normally, Robin has very good ledge play between Arc Thunder, between Thoron at higher percents. Oh, look at further. That was the, he was looking for the footstool. Is he dead? Is he dead at 86 after the hit? Numbers, I think, leaned over to be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but regardless, okay, really good job there. Uh -huh. That's actually, if you notice Numbers, he threw out that Sun Salutation. The Angel didn't get hit by it, jumped. But Numbers was able to run underneath there and catch his landings. Sans jump with that up smash. And all of a sudden, Numbers at 142%. Oh, sorry, at 42%. That's all there is. And oh, interesting, Numbers actually went for, I, I think that's really interesting. The fact that when he was trapped in the corner there, he went for roll backwards. I think because he wanted to position himself just a little bit further back so he could get a grab if that was how Luigi just had uh, if whiffed in that particular way. Oh, this could be really bad for Numbers. Way deep off stage. The angling of that upbeat was so good. Numbers definitely not expecting it. And good getup timing. Bart Angel is one step ahead, making sure that no, even if he's you know using the invincibility to dodge the Arc Thunder, he's still gonna get caught by the grab. Finally, numbers back on stage. Oh, and a parry to F tilt already 78%, 91 and growing. Angel, I don't know if he has a jump off stage. Numbers trying to get that backwards hit of that forward air to spike. Oh, he wanted that. He wanted to grab his little sword there. Numbers definitely has done some cheeky things. Ball coming down. No, okay. I thought the ball was going to come down. Ooh, numbers. He went for like a run-up jab. But Angel kind of anticipating it rolled out and got that nice punish. Able to take the stock right there. And at this point, it is no longer unfeasible for Angel to take this. It's going to be very difficult for him. Numbers is not the kind of player who can get shook it very easily. He has no up B. It doesn't matter. Yeah, f tilt's going to kill outright. Let's get fired up. Yeah. Numbers looking very good right now. And that, so, I mean, if we had to break down how that game went, Numbers, they, they were going back and forth pretty reliably. But then all of a sudden, Numbers would have these moments where he would hit him and do like 50 to 60%. Whereas Angel would get a, you know, win an interaction and maybe put him on ledge and get a little bit of chip damage here from Arc Fire. There was that one point where he killed him at. Freaking 60 with the back air, but like beyond that, I think Numbers is just kind of outperforming once he gets a singular hit. In. And I mean, that makes sense because if you're Angel, it feels like normally, you know, Robin likes to rack up damage when the opponent is at the ledge, but Numbers, let he's at home at the ledge. That's where he willingly puts himself. Oh, I was talking about how the punish game wasn't there for Angel last time, and he's understood that fact himself immediately with a 56% combo. Numbers started off last game with a nice hefty lead, not so this time around. And the fact that Angel is in the lead means he can maybe play a little bit more defensive, throwing out these projectiles. Okay. Numbers has been uncharacteristically STing on stream at Encore. A lot lately. Oh, nice job catching that roll in. Dash attack. I don't think he has a jump. And numbers getting the back hit, but not the spike. And that's gonna oh this could be it. Ah, he wanted it. I think maybe at that point he kind of could have gone for an F cell, but I guess numbers wanted to be safe. 
Wow, these texts from Angel. When you play a character who doesn't have a rising hitbox if you're up B, you got to be really good at teching. But Angel is like, right now, kind of being a cut above all of these back airs. Numbers is hoping that they will just end the stop, but none of them are. Deep breathing, though. Deep breathing is in effect. Down there, going to be killing off the top. And I think it's worth noting, Numbers SD at a very low percent. And from that point on, which I think Louis, uh, sorry, Angel is at about 30 before that, uh, numbers got touched for 10%. That was it. So even though numbers got an SD at pretty low percent, oh, okay. Um, he's still been kind of performing really well. Oh, here we have it. Sword in hand. I think maybe just tossing it out like that, that maybe going through Z-drop stuff or just shenanigans to... You kind of want to pull out all the stops if your game plan is going to try to actually contest numbers at leg. You can't just like, oh, I hope that he gets hit by this. No, so you gotta like play five steps ahead, engineer the actual chances, and I'm very curious as to why he went for dash attack right there. Maybe he thought he could shield poke or something like that. As it stands now, numbers, oh, that angling on the upbeat was fantastic. It was beautiful. Oh, and the sword actually gonna help out a little bit staving off some of the pressure, but Numbers once more putting him off stage. This has been the, uh, the story of the set so far. Oh, that was such a good grab, but at this percentage, Robin not really able to get anything off of it. Numbers getting two frames by so many of those, but air dodging the Thoron, that making sure to pay attention, you know, that matchup experience where he's looking at Robin, knowing that he can throw out Thoron, and if he does, he will die, but... Numbers being uh, anticipating all of these hits, all of these moments, and now Numbers putting himself on ledge once again. And we've seen that, you know, when he willingly puts himself on ledge, he doesn't really die for it, you know? Like, he might get chipped by, thun by uh, Arc Fire, you know? Something like that, but he's not dying for it. So with these higher percents, yeah, why not go to ledge? And he's even healing. Oh, there he is. Yep. Uh, great positioning from Angel. The fact he was uh, at exactly that roll length so that he could still cover all of those options, really helping him out. But, ooh, getting hit by side B at any percent from anything just hurts so much. The move does so much damage, and it can even, like, <laughs> oh, it can go past that. All right, now we have last stock for both of these players. Numbers with a slight lead here. And I'd say overall, his game plan has just been working out better than Angel's. Oh, really smart right there. The Sun Salutation is going to be beating out those weaker variants of Thunder. And that means that... Oh, but he's going for a lot of these empty lands, trying to get an F tilt. But right now, Angel just being very careful, knowing that dropping shield at the ledge like that is a recipe for disaster. So he's not going to mess with it. The crouch from numbers, it's... Something he's incorporated into his game plan in this game, too. And it's really working. You know that when you shield that sort of move, the Arc Thunder. Just like that, you can get grabbed, you can put off stage, you can get hit by the Arc Thunder, you might die! I don't even know what happened! That was... Did, did he DI out? Did he DI into the blast zone? It didn't look like he was gonna die out right. Well, so we do have 1-1 one, one now between these two, but it is worth noting. Yeah, so it is worth... <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Bars. I don't know exactly what happened. But, you know, so Angel took that game, but Numbers gave him a stock, basically. SD at relatively low percent, at like around 60 or something like that. However, you know, at the end there, there was one stock apiece, and Angel took it. So it could be that whatever game plan Numbers was having isn't quite working out the same way it had been. Numbers, of course, also a fiend of adaptation in his own right. Oh. And so, yeah, Angel hasn't even been able to touch Numbers yet. 75. Oh, but that dash attack on the shield. Shielding in the corner is something that Angel's been doing very consistently, and it's been working out for him. But if Numbers, Numbers just starts to pick up on that sort of thing, he can be getting forward throws, putting him off stage pretty deeply. And if he has deep breathing, that move can sometimes kill him, at higher percents at least. 
Oh, numbers trapped that ledge. That forward smash barely whiffing, but that back air almost took it. At 68, numbers almost died. But with deep breathing, not only does Angel have to be more scared, but d Numbers does take reduced damage. I'm pretty sure that hit would have killed if he did not have deep breathing, but it doesn't matter how deep your breath is. Getting hit by a neutral or way off stage like that, Angel is looking great right now. Numbers is the one who has to figure out, engineer a way to take this stock. Oh, getting grabbed with a fantastic mashup from Numbers. He has some salutation in his pocket. I think he's trying to find some way to land it. He does, but at this percent, it's not actually enough to take it just yet. Down tilt at the ledge, trying to find some way to actually end things and even up the stock count. Oh, that's something we saw before. Rolls right into him, but Angel positions himself perfectly. Earlier on, we also saw Numbers SD at these lower percents. <laughs> it's something that could happen if Numbers has these right now. He's going off stage and doing all sorts of silly things out there. If he has these now, it's that's curtains for sure. Sun Salutation online. Just throws it out there, but beautiful job right there. Fading him, catching him, you know, with that out of shield option. And oh no, Numbers still getting hit by all of this damage at 77%. Go attempts the ledge trump, but Numbers buffering his option means that he's now once again with a little bit of stage control, but only for so long. Deep breathing in effect means it could lead to huge damage. Gets it for the last hit of that arc fire. Whatever advantage Numbers might have gotten from that, it is gone. He's once more at the ledge, and earlier on it felt like he was going there for fun, you know, just having a grand old time. But now when he's at the ledge, it feels like he is trapped there. Once more throwing out these arc fires. Beautiful timing, but no shield. It's the size of a Skittle. Oh, once more the Sun Salutation. The fact it can beat out these projectiles has been huge for him. But I'm liking the adaptation right there. Angel throwing out some of the smaller, quicker thunders just to check numbers when he's trying to throw out these projectiles. Where are you going? He's dead. Oh, no. The SD comes back, and it's Angel who bites it this time around. But this could be it. Down throw, no forward throwing numbers. Wants to get him off stage. And oh no, all this damage, 59%. And without any rage, Angel, that uh, back air somehow not killing. Numbers alive at 147. That one's going to do it, though. It does. And we now have a last stock, game three, between these two players. It has been going back and forth all night between these two. And oh, numbers catching that jump, calling it out hugely with the forward air. Oh, but big damage and putting himself at the ledge as well. Once more rolls right into it. The timing from Angel is so good. The, so the, the soccer ball actually getting in the way of numbers right there. That sun salutation would have landed, maybe giving him a little bit more damage and maybe some stage control, but instead, once more, he's trapped at the ledge. 74%. Another arc thunder. And oh, that trade going to be working out for numbers. Oh, and shield getting hit, and oh, once more. Wait, though, soccer ball, the very long-lasting hit of it. Getting numbers back to stage. He runs in for the grab. A forward throw is going to put him off, and now deep breathing. This is where things can get very scary. I think numbers was looking for him, shielding at ledge against. We can maybe get a grab. Angel gets out of the corner, but he's there once more. Numbers finally catches the roll after putting himself in the, in the corner all of those times. Numbers following those habits. I don't think he had done roll out of the corner that much, but Numbers just 